you guys. Today we're going to be learning this song, Numb Little Bug, by M. Beaholt? Or Beholt? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but anyway. Real quick, before we get into it, I would like to ask that if you find this guitar tutorial helpful, that you please consider subscribing. That would really mean the world to me. Now let's get into it. You are watching Logan's Lessons. Let's start with the intro of this song. We start with our middle finger on the ninth fret of the A string. Then our third finger right below that on the ninth fret of the D string. We strum that downwards twice, with our left hand lifting up off of the fretboard in between strums to make that extra punctual. Like that, okay? As opposed to, that's a, like that, very punchy. Then right there we play the ninth fret of our A string again, so just pick the ninth, just pick the A string one more time. So you have, and then right here we put our first finger on the eighth fret of our G string. Play that twice. So you have, again. All right, do that with me. All right, and then right there we have this little run where we're going from the ninth fret of our A string with our index finger, hammering onto the eleventh fret of the same string, hit the ninth fret of the D, back to the 11th fret of your A. Like that, so we have. Okay. Now you do that exact thing twice. So, first little piece will sound like this. Then right here we go down so that our middle finger is on the seventh fret of the A string. And our first finger is on the sixth fret of the D. Play that twice, then you play the A string again, just like the first chord, same motif. And then with our pinky finger, we're gonna hit that eighth fret of our G string, like that. Same, right there, so. Then right here we go to the E minor third, which is gonna be played with your third finger on that seventh fret of your A string, and your first finger on the fifth fret of your D. Okay, so we have Okay, then right there we hit the low E string open. Third fret of our low E string to the fifth fret. Like that. So the entire intro will sound like this. gets us into the verse. The verse starts with a B major chord. To play a B major chord, we're going to place our index finger on the seventh fret of the low E string. No need to bar here for this chord. Then your third finger is going to be placed on the ninth fret of the A string. Your pinky finger right below that on the ninth fret of the D. And your middle finger on the eighth fret of your G string. That's a B major chord. Now you're gonna strum that downwards twice. Then you do that again. I like to palm mute this, but that's completely personal preference. I like the extended dynamic range of the song that you get when you do palm mute this, so that when in the chorus you're playing big old strums, it's like even bigger. Then we go down to an E major chord, which is just this chord slid down so that your first finger comes off the fretboard. Your third finger is going to be on the second fret of your A string, your pinky on the second fret of your D string, and your middle finger on the first fret of your G string. And you do this one twice too. Okay, so we have. Then right here we have G which is just the B major chord slid down to the third fret. So your index finger is going to be on the third fret of your low E string. Your third finger is going to be on the fifth fret of your A. Your pinky right below that on the fifth fret of your D string and your middle finger on the fourth fret of your G string. You just play that once and then you go down to an F sharp major chord, which is just this exact same shape shifted down a fret. Like that. So we have Thank you. 
Mm. That happens twice for the first verse. After you've gone through that two times, you go to a big old E major chord, <laughs> then to an E minor, which if you play the E major chord the way I showed you earlier, you're just gonna be taking off your middle finger to get an E minor chord. So you have E major, E minor, and that gets you into the chorus. The chorus is especially fun in my opinion. We're starting on an E major chord, you strum it downwards, and then I have like a strike down up. Okay, then we go to an F sharp major chord, which I already showed you earlier, it's the one right after the G in the verse. Okay. That one's also strummed downwards. And then we have a strike down, and on the up strum, we're going to a G sharp minor chord. The G sharp minor chord, you're gonna have to bar across the entire, all of the strings on the fourth fret with your index finger. Then your third finger is gonna be on the sixth fret of your A string, and right below that, your pinky on the sixth fret of your D. So you have a strike up there. So we have down, strike, strike up, down on an F sharp major chord, strike, up on the G sharp minor. And then we do that again. Okay, third time through, what we do is we go from that E major, strike down and strike up, to a D sharp minor chord. To play a D sharp minor chord, we're going to place our index finger on the sixth fret of our A string, our third finger on the eighth fret of our D, our pinky right below that on the eighth fret of our G string, and our middle finger on the seventh fret of the B. So you have, and then we still go back to the G sharp minor. So a strike up on the G sharp minor. Okay? So far we have. Then here we go to a D sharp major chord. The D sharp major chord is going to be played with your index finger still on that sixth fret of your A string. But then our third finger is going to bar across the eighth fret of the D, G, and B strings. That's a down, 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 strike up, down. Like that. So the entire chorus will sound like this. That happens again. That drops you into the post chorus. The post chorus is also starting on an E major chord. Strum it down twice. And then we go to a B major. Strum it downwards twice as well. And then an F sharp major. Okay, so we have. Then we have this little fun piece where we're starting with the pull off from the eighth fret of our G string with our ring finger, pulling off down to the sixth fret of our G string. Yep, with our index finger. Then we hit that uh, eighth fret again. So yep. And then what we do is we pull off again from the eighth fret to the sixth fret. Then we go down to the fourth fret. Like that. I like to slide down to the fourth fret. Okay, so we have. So just as I demonstrated, the do 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 is only after the first time through the chords. The second time through, we just have the E, B, F sharp, then we wait for a second. Now the third line changes the chord progression entirely. We're starting on a G sharp minor, like that, then we're going down to an E major, then up to a B major, okay? And then right after that B major, we do have a little diddly where we're just doing that pull off from the 8th fret to the 6th fret and then back up to the 8th fret. Like that. So far the post chorus will sound like this. Now, like I just did, the third one's just an outlier. The fourth time through, you play the same thing as you did the second time through. You have the E major to B to F sharp. And then right here, it changes. We don't do the 
and you also don't stay silent. What you will do instead is you hit the sixth fret of your A string to the fourth fret of the A string, hit the seventh fret of your low E, and you do that twice. Sixth fret of your A to fourth fret of your A to the seventh fret of your low E, six of your A, four of your A to seven of your low E. Like that. So the entire post chorus will sound like this. Okay, so after that first post chorus, we have a kind of abbreviated intro. You just play that, that. And right after you do that, you go straight back into the verse. Just like I just did, you only play the first chord progression through once. Right after that, we go into the pre-chorus again. And you're back into the chorus. Then you have another post chorus, but at the end of the post chorus, you do not play this. Instead, you wait for a second, and then we're into the outro, okay? So after you go through that, like, last time through, we're going E, E, F sharp, you wait, and then we're going into the outro. The outro starts on an E major 7. To play an E major 7, you're going to place your index finger on the 7th fret of your A string, your 3rd finger on the 9th fret of your D string, your middle finger on the 8th fret of your G, and your index finger on the 9th fret of your B string. Like that, okay? That's the first chord, that's an E major 7. The second chord we have is a D sharp minor over A sharp. To play that, we're going to place our index finger barred across the 6th fret of our E, A, D, G, B, and yeah, our high E, just all of our strings on the 6th fret. <laughs> then your third finger is going to be on the 8th fret of your D string, okay? Leave your G string open to be barred with your index finger, and then your middle finger is going to be on the 7th fret of our B string, okay? So we're going from the E major 7 to the D sharp minor over A sharp. Okay. Then we're going to our G sharp minor chord. Uh, I gotta survive. I gotta sur. The second sur on the second survive, right, is a B major chord. To play a B major chord here, we're going to place our index finger on the second fret of the A string and bar our third finger across the fourth fret of the D, G, and B strings. Okay, that's a B major chord. Then we're gonna slide that up for Vive on the second survive. Sir is B major, the Vive is on the C sharp major, which is just this exact chord shape slid up two frets. Okay? So, Sir Vive. Okay? That outro will sound like this. That is how you play Numb Little Bug by M. If you have a song request, comment it. If you wish to be notified of future videos, hit that bell. I sincerely hope that you are well. Please do me a favor and hit that like button in blue. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too. I hope this video has been a blessing. You've been watching. Logan's Lessons.